Good morning. You are listening to Upreach, a morning devotional presented by the Church Street Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee, to encourage you as you face the opportunities and challenges of today. Let's begin this day together with some inspiring thoughts from God's Holy Word. Seeing then that we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our confession. For we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses, but was in all points tempted as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Hebrews chapter 4, verses 14 through 16. D.L. Moody was never afraid to say bluntly and directly what he felt. He was a man who pulled no punches. Once a man did his best to disrupt one of his meetings with interruptions and heckling and every kind of discourtesy. At the end of the meeting, he came up to Moody and offered to shake hands with him. Moody looked at him. I suppose, he said, if Jesus Christ could eat the Last Supper with a Judas Iscariot, I ought to shake hands with you. Behind that statement, there lies a great truth, the truth that no matter what we are called on to suffer and to bear and to endure and to accept, Jesus had it worse. Jesus had to accept insult, and he had to accept slander. They called him a gluttonous man and a drunkard. They said that he was the friend of tax collectors and sinners, and they implied that he was like the company that he kept. Sometimes we feel insulted and slandered. Whatever is said about us, let us remember that they said still worse about Jesus, and he was the sinless one. Jesus had to accept the failure of friendship. If ever anyone was let down by his friends, Jesus was. In the hour of his deepest and bitterest need, in the hour when loyalty would have been infinitely valuable, they all forsook him and fled. Sometimes our friends fail us. Sometimes they are disloyal to us. Sometimes they break their promise and their pledge. Often it is hurting, but it is not really the end of all things. When that happens to us, let us remember that it happened to Jesus and that one of his friends was the traitor who delivered him to death. No matter what has happened to us, worse happened to Jesus. And Jesus was the one who, having loved his own, loved them to the end. In his case, the supreme loyalty was answered by the supreme disloyalty. What about you today? Do you ever find yourself wallowing in self-pity because of a perception that you are suffering unjust treatment from others? Why not make a point during these low moments to remember what all Jesus suffered for you without complaint and then thank God for his matchless love? This has been Upreach, a presentation of the Church Street Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee. I am Kyle Bolton, the pulpit minister at Church Street, and I would like to personally invite you to come and share times of Bible study and worship with us each week. We meet every Sunday at 9 o'clock a.m. for our morning worship, followed by our Sunday school for all ages at 10.15 a.m. Then we meet again at 6 o'clock p.m. for our evening worship. We also have a midweek meeting for devotion and Bible study on Wednesdays at 6.30 p.m. I hope to see you there. Have a blessed day. Boundless love, unending joy. This is my life. It's what I know. I can't be. Jesus, my Lord, it's you I owe. Boundless love, unending joy, this is my life, it's what I know. my Lord.